Oh, it's so exciting. I'm up to part two of finishing off the chairs that Annie and I did a couple of weeks ago. Annie has now left me and I'm allowed to go solo. I have fingers crossed that I get the last bit right, which is, as I said, the waxing to protect the wood of the chairs that we painted. Now, Annie said that once it was dry, to use a bit of sandpaper, a, a very, very fine grade, and then to wax over to expose some of the underneath paint, or you could wipe it off, which I've done. And then it's just a matter of getting a brush. I'm going to use the light wax. She's got two types of waxes. One's a dark one and one's the light one. So that's what I'm going to use. She uses a beautiful brush like that, but I've lost my beautiful brush. So I'm just going to, and this I use for other things. So I can't be waxing and painting with this. So I've just got this old paintbrush here, which I'm just going to dab in. And he said, little, little, little bit of wax. And this is gonna protect the, the surface that's been painted so that it doesn't scratch off or get marked and just add a nice luster to the end of it. So it's just a matter of getting your wax at, on your brush and getting into all of those lovely, those little nooks and crannies. And a little bit, I've gotta tell you this, a little bit goes a long way just right into all those bits. I hope I'm doing this right, Annie, because I'd hate to do it wrong. So into there, and I actually left these from when I painted, well, the day that Annie and I painted it, I left it for a, this, it's nearly three weeks since she was here because I wanted to make sure that it was really, really dry. And I was happy, and I also couldn't decide whether I want to go dark or light, but I think that the light is the best. So then you let that dry, and it doesn't take long to dry at all. And then it's just a matter of getting a nice soft brush and just buffing up to bring the luster and the sheen up onto the chair. And I just want you to know that I am absolutely thrilled with the effect of the chairs. Look at that. I could have replaced them, but why replace them when I can paint them? I absolutely love them. And the next thing now is to do one, only one couch. I'm not doing both the couches, just one couch. So my husband, the engineer, is very happy about this, but he was even impressed with what we did. So there we have part one was the painting, Annie telling us everything that you needed to know. Love that you get the expert in and me hopefully finishing it and doing it well with the wax and giving it a buff up. I hope that Annie and I together have been of assistance to those of you out there who are thinking, will I or won't I? All the details are there, go for it and just colour up your house. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you all again another day.